Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. Um, and this video is all about a point to point system and the way that we got it working. Um, it is a real installation that we did today. Um, you can find it on our Instagram account and see some photos, etc. It is um, actually for a client. And basically, what we were trying to do was we were trying to get their main house Wi Fi or their main house network connected to a tennis court so that they could have Wi Fi there. Um, they previously, another company, not us, um, had done a kind of a AC mesh, so ubiquity AC mesh. They put a kind of directional antenna on that um, to try and give some extra coverage, and that had done a pretty good job, but it wasn't quite getting as far as the tennis courts. So um, we have been in there today to try and get that, that resolved, and we used the point-to-point -point system to beam it across and then uh, have some Wi-Fi by the tennis courts. So um, this video is all about how we did that, and I'll, uh, I'll get on with it now. Before I do, though, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, be sure to give us a like and a hit the bell icon to, to, to get notified of new videos. We're going to do more and more videos. That's the plan. Um, also, if you want any of this equipment and you're in the UK, all of the stuff that you see today is available from our retail store, wifi to buycom Thank you very much, and let's get on with this. Okay, so we have our point-to-point -point system, and that is going to shoot across all the way over there to where you can just about see that white door in the distance. Um, this is the Ubiquiti USIP Loco 5AC and it's down here it's got a cat 6 cable that you can see running all the way down right down into this enclosure and then it comes up on the right hand side here up to a poe converter and that's converting it from 20 uh, sorry from normal poe to 24 volt passive going back into this flex switch here Okay, and then the flex switch is connected to the network via this cable here. Previously, this cable was connected to this access point out here, which we didn't install. That was there previously, uh, and we've nicked the cable, basically. And then we've got uh, a new cable going from this port, port 2, which is going back to the access point to ensure that continues to work as well. So that's our setup here, um, and now we're going to go to the other end and take a look at that. Okay, so here is our receiving station, and just below with the receiving station, you can see the PoE converter. That's an external one, and again, that's just doing the job of converting from PoE to 24 volt passive. This is a bit of an eyesore, so we're gonna spray paint this to make it blend in, so check out our Instagram to see that uh, transformation. Um, okay, and let's go inside and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm now in the shed by the tennis courts and this is our setup. We've got the uh, PoE injector here, which is being fed from our main socket just below. We've then got that powering the flex switch through the PoE. And this cable is going out to the point to point, so that's giving it uh, PoE, which is then being converted up on the pole there, as you saw. And then this cable here is going to an access point, which is uh, for the Wi-Fi for the tennis court. Now, unusually, we've used a completely random access point for this because the client had a spare one. So we've got a in-wall access point here, which is providing Wi-Fi to the tennis courts just out here. And that definitely wouldn't have been my first choice of model, but actually it's doing a really good job. And we're getting full coverage from that access point across the court. So uh, we may change that in the future for something a little bit more suitable, but at the moment, we'll probably just leave that in place. Okay, so that's that. That was the installation. It was pretty simple, really, um, but a few moving parts. Um, so the client was really happy, and uh, we'll be back there to spray paint that pole. And we've got another couple of other bits of work to do as well, which we'll try and capture and put onto YouTube. Um, if you are looking for services such as ours, then uh, you're welcome to give us a call. We do offer consulting services the whole world, and if you're local to us, we'll do installation services as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.